Hello and welcome to my first video which is going to be on what you should carry in your classic car as spare tools in case you break down so that you can fix it yourself at the side of the road. So let's get started. So this box I carry with me all the time in my 1970 Morris Minor. Uh, this is handy to have in case of a breakdown. This does not only do Morris Miners but various other classic cars. So I would recommend anyone with a classic car who is able to fix it at the side of the road should carry these tools. So I've got a wheel wrench which I can use to take wheel nuts off. Very handy if you take a flat tyre. And always remember to carry a spare wheel if the facility is available in your car because the spray that you put in your tyre to get you home you do remember that you'll have to replace your tyre after using that so it's much better to carry a spare wheel if as I say the facility is available in your car so I also carry a spanner variable size to use on various applications handy to have much better than different sized spanners because you never know what size you might need also got a pair of pliers also very handy for any wiring issues or anything electrical split pins various things that can be used for a torch a must have if you break down during the night or under the car so that you can see hard to reach areas. A spark plug remover, an excellent tool which is vital to carrying a classic car. I've had a few occasions where I've had to change spark plugs uh, on the go so it's a must have if you're going any sort of long distance. This is to remove various drain plugs on my car, although I don't think this is a common fitting, so you may not need this. It's simply a bar for fitting the plug, drain plug on the differential. A flat screwdriver. Right. Just a wee selection of screwdrivers and various things. Star screwdriver, a bigger flat, and a slightly smaller star again for various applications, whether it be the fuse box or anything inside the car that fuses screws. As in a Morris Minor and various classic cars, everything is screwed or bolted on, so you've got to have these pieces of equipment. I also carry some tape, electrical tape which is very handy if you get a broken wire and you need to fix it. I also carry some wire, just a small amount, enough to be able to fix something or bypass a fault to get me home. Very handy. The tape is also to join this if need be. A couple of different colours of tape there. Also a piece of wire which is vital if your clutch cable snaps or accelerator cable choke, anything like that, vital thing to have, just a piece of cable that will get you home again. You don't have to fix it properly, it's just enough to get you on the move. This is also another vital tool. You can use various things to improvise this, but if you don't want to make a mess of your wheels on most classic cars, you'll have hubcaps and this is a hubcap remover which is vital to have otherwise you'll give yourself a real headache trying to take them off. So that's all the tools and things I carry so here's some more parts that I carry now. A fan belt, well it's a must have for a classic car. One day your fan belt will snap 
it just will. <laughs> and you've got to carry a spare, it's vital. Here I've got a box which has four spark plugs in it. We've got a Lucas indicator bulb switch which is for the actual handle in the car but it just happens that that came with my car so. uh, we've got a various selection of bulbs which is enough to replace every bulb in the car you obviously don't need that but I would just recommend having at least enough to cover each bulb that could break Again, on a dark night, you don't want to be left without it. A cloth is vital. You never know what you've got to wipe down, you know, clean off or anything like that. Always carry a cloth. Simple rag. It's just handy for various things. We've got socket set. Again, you don't have to carry a socket set, but if you want to make your life a lot easier, you can purchase one of these for £10 on Amazon or various other online shopping sites. Uh, it's just a simple socket set. Makes things a lot easier than trying to mess about with a big spanner or other equipment. Uh -huh. We've got a wee uh, screwdriver set, very small screwdrivers in this one, which is handy for wiring again and various things that need very small screwdrivers. I would also recommend some Allen keys. You never know, you don't really need Allen keys in classic cars for many things, but it's always handy to have. You just don't know what you're going to come across. And the last thing that I've got is just cable ties. Cable ties, again, are handy for anything. Whether it be exhaust, electrical, again, tying wires, hoses, various uses this can be for. So I'd highly recommend just a bunch of cable ties. That's all you need. Also, I would like to add that it's very handy to carry a selection of Jubilee clips which you never know, you may need for hoses or something similar. So I would highly recommend t carrying these tools in your classic car. They'll always help you and that's about it. So if you need any advice, please drop me a comment or send me an email to dfrmorrisminer at gmail.com and I'll do my very best to help you and will reply as soon as possible. Um, and please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I hope this video has been helpful and please leave a comment and thank you again for watching.